Well, good morning, everyone. It's Chris again. Uh, it is Tuesday morning, and I'm on a whole different call this morning. We're uh, doing a um, service call for um, one of the trucks we we, uh, we have. Oh, my gosh. Steer tires. Steer tires. If you don't know what steer tires are, they're the front axle. They're called steer tires because you steer with these tires. And steer tires are crucial and very important to ensure that the quality of the tire is um, is ideal and perfect. Because uh, when you are on the road driving, your steer tires is what controls your direction and uh, your safety. Uh, it has no backup as the dualies would, dualies or the the drive tires, what they call them, is the drive tires or the rear tires, the back tires in the back of the... Anyway, steer tires must have proper tread. And so we have on the one of the trucks that we own is a terrible front right steer tire. And because of that, we need to replace them. We've already replaced many of the drive tires on all the trucks, including the one that I'm going to show you but um, yeah if you don't have good quality proper uh, tires uh, you're not going to pass a DOT inspection well we got to go through another inspection this time around um, it's uh, been time and so inspections are due and uh, we are on the way to pick up our old tires that we have replaced the drive tires like I said and all the old tires that came off we are storing and so when you store tires uh, for a purpose you store them so you can reuse and recap them if you can so recap is where you you put a whole new tread on top of the existing tire as long as that tire is meeting that year manufacturer you can't have 10 or 15 year old tires these tires are less than three years old but if it's three two three years ago when these tires are manufactured well you can you know within five years you can recap them you can put a, a new tread on there and you know basically well not you but or we or I that is but you can get them recapped and that saves quite a bit on buying new tires so that was the idea behind that so uh, with that in mind we're now going to uh, our office and we're gonna be um, moving those old tires into this truck here that I'm, I'm driving. Believe it or not, I'm not driving our truck. Um, I've mentioned in my previous videos of this place called Nolan's Tires or Point S Tires. Point S Tires in Gresham, I can't say enough good things about them. Uh, we've had a lot of work done there and they've been uh, very generous and very good with us. I'm actually um, in route to pick up all of our tires and take them back to their store where one of our semis is waiting to be um, uh, to receive new tires. So my old tires are going to take credit. 60 bucks is what they told us per tire. Now we pay 550 bucks a piece, but of course they're old. So those $60 tires are worth something. They're going to recap them obviously and resell them. So I'm in my way, on my way to our office to pick up about a dozen tires with this pickup truck and uh, bring them back to Nolan's, or I keep saying Nolan's, but it's Point S tires in Gresham. And I'm going to basically sell those tires at 60 bucks a pop uh, to them. And obviously, they're going to, they're in the business of tire uh, replacement. So they're going to you know get them recapped and all that and then resell them back to other customers that's the idea and here we are we're almost back at the office and uh, it's not easy to move 12 to 14 tires big 22.5 Michelin and Goodyear they're heavy so here we go
unloading all the tires in here and taking them back so to just, them. Just got a, a ramp, a loading uh, ramp that we can use. Uh, it, it basically opens up like so. You pull up on it, you lower down the, the plate, and then use the hydraulic to lower it down all the way. It makes it easy, right? Because uh, loading all these tires is not convenient. It's actually very cumbersome. So now you can stack them all on top of this, lift it up, and stack them Here in the we back. are with all of our tires. We got two, four, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 tires here, and we're gonna all take take them all over to uh, to point us. Uh, the manufacturer date for these guys, by the way, they're 22 fives, obviously, Michelin. Um, they're 275 80s, 22 fives. Now I'm looking for a manufacturer date. You can see there's a printed manufacturer date on every tire, but uh, I'm trying to really take a look for the for the date itself here shortly. So we stack all these, you know, they have because in the city have water in them, so they're super heavy. I believe there's 10 of them. Uh, let's take a look here. Yeah. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten tires. So, that in mind. We're gonna try to take these and maybe come back for the rest. We already locked up the office. Uh, we're on our way back. We're on our way back to Point S. Take these tires, driving back. Um, hopefully uh, we can get this done here shortly because uh, we have we have to go get uh, a, another inspection done on, on the truck. Uh, outside of, we were outside of uh, Point S, we were at Tech, no, I'm sorry, TA Truck Stop in Troutdale uh, last night getting a uh, quality inspection for DOT. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, due to the fact that we had on this particular truck a, um, a little uneven wear on one of the tires, the inspection wasn't accepted or passed. Uh, steer tires, like I said, they they need to be perfect in every, in every you know, it drives, you know, the, the, the tires in the rear, you can have uneven uh, tire wear, especially if you're dragging through snow or, or you're using chains or whatever, just not necessarily unsafe or exposed, but you gotta have the right proper tread uh, pattern and, and uh, thread depth, but uh, uneven or worn out, uh, in this case, Somehow this steer tire on this particular truck has an uneven, and it was possibly due to the fact that they had an alignment issue. Uh, we fixed that. It could have been balance issues. We fixed that as well. And so it's just about, you know, the right time to get new tires on that. So uh, considering that the inspection needs to be completed for 2024, uh, we have to get these tires done. So here we are on our way back to Nolan's or Point S tire. Right here back at Point S. We're gonna unload these tires now. This is the truck we're working on. Believe it or not, these tires came from Point S, these uh, drive tires. These are brand new and they're only last last year. Look at the tread here. Anyway, um, it's, it's almost like a half an inch, maybe an inch deep tread. Well, they're, they're the Blackhawk design 
you know, uh, they're 20, 295, 75, 22 fives, Blackhawk. They're not Michelin, they're not Goodyear, but they do the trick. However, for the front, for the front, I got Bridgestones on here, which, you know, obviously those are good, very good tires. Uh, again, the front, you need to have quality, decent, uh, no problem tire so that way you can manage because there's no backup if this blows you're pretty much stuck at the mercy of your own uh ability to handle the truck slowing down but if this blows you got a problem those ones you have a backup you have two different backups for the dualies these uh front steers as you see here here's the uneven pattern that uh needs to be serviced or taken care of and uh, unfortunately this particular wear is renowned with uh, balance and wheel alignment issues. So hopefully that was fixed at Premier Truck Group where we spent quite a bit of money a couple months back here. And uh, that has been resolved or fixed. But the alignment, we had a, a tie rod over there that we paid, uh, I don't remember, thousands of dollars replacing. The alignment was very likely, or the alignment issue on this tire is very likely due to the fact that um, that tie rod needed to be changed. So we got that changed a few months ago. We paid a lot of money. Now the tires need to be replaced. Here, probably in preparation, two nice brand new Blackhawk uh, tires that uh, are steers. So hopefully those are the ones that uh, we're going to be doing business with. Now the process begins to change out the uh, front steers. They're going to lift up the truck, they're going to take off the tires, take the rims off, put the new tires on there, put the rims back on, and then uh, maybe make a spare out of the uh, driver's side uh, steer tire. Check out the feet uh, on the valve the valve pin and now we're deflating the tires that's how it's done boys you take the two tires off put new tires on take the pressure out and then take the tire off look at that pressure valve over there so, as this thing is displaying, when the valve stem comes off, you know, all air comes out at the same time, obviously from inside the tire, and there's, you know, probably about 100 pounds or so. Well, generally, you don't put more than 100 pounds of pressure inside these tires. And maybe 110, 100, depending on the heat, the temperature, you might have a little more, but generally about 100. You know, about 100 PSI, right? PSI, yeah. yeah. Yeah, especially on the steers, you want to make sure they're properly inflated every single time. Oh. So the impact gun right there for a big, big oh. rigs is being used. Oh. Heavy, um, heavy airline. That, that thing is uh, not your, uh, your garage airline. Oh. This is a Chicago pneumatic. pneumatic don't confuse it with the harbor freight stuff uh, harbor freight equipment is good but not necessarily the best thing uh, or for for the job sometimes um, I think Chicago pneumatic air, air impact guns are being sold uh, well all over online of course but uh, I don't know where you buy them anyway those are uh, basically used by all service shops, uh, roadside emergency crews use them all the time when they work on semis. Uh, it's a good tool to use. Uh, I've seen them used over the years and they're re reliable. Uh, I'm talking about the impact, the big impact uh, gun they're, they're, they're using here. Uh, Chicago Pneumatic, check it out. It's a good, good unit to use 
Uh, I believe some of their trucks, their service trucks have them as well, that they're working on big rigs. And uh, they're strong, they're durable. They need a little bit of lubrication every now and then, but uh, they're good tools now to use. here, again, uh, <laughs> we can take a look at your, our brake, or our disc brakes, basically, the uh, linings and the uh, dust cover and the brake shoes. And, uh, you know, look for unusual condition. And we don't see anything unusual. I mean, it rotates, it spins. The actual hub itself seems to be. When you take the tire off, you, you got a better, better view of the uh, lower side here, the uh, access, you know, to the front to the back. You don't really want to get underneath there because it's still lifted up. But here, you know, you can see pretty much any un, uneven wear. You got a lot of dust, rust, which is rust that's accumulated over the years. But um, yeah, everything looks good on this side. This is the passenger side, believe it or not. The hub looks good. Let's take a look at the other side. Same thing, you wanna, uh, you do see a little bit of uneven wear here, like the, the digging, they call that, I think it's called digging, into the uh, lining itself. And that may need at some point servicing but not yet of course you got a lot of dust there's the new tie rod right back there with the bushings um, premier truck group service that hopefully it lasts for a while of course you're looking at the hub to make sure it's not leaking and uh, everything else looks good you know the brake drum back there is uh, decent uh, the, the shocks are decent you know um, everything looks good now we're getting new tires on. Just like anything else in life, you better put a lot of lubrication on, on things to get the, 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 the rim off or the tire off the rim because without, without that, it's, you know, you got a lot of dust and you got all those particles that are catching onto the tire. And uh, when you put that soap water on there, it loosens things up. And these guys are the pros. I mean, they, Looks like it takes them about 10 seconds to get one side off. And maybe a second more to get the other side off. So there's the old tire. Yeah. And then there's the other one there. Yeah, I've tried doing this and without that oil, without that soap water, it's not fun. Even even with the machine, uh, but uh, believe it or not, the semi tires are easier to unmount than the regular trailer tires. For and I found that. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I think it's true. Yeah. Uh, just because they're a little bigger, easier to loosen up, right? Yeah, I found the little tiny, you know, the dolly tires, man, those things are a pain. Little tiny, like if, you, if you're using the tow dolly tires, I've had so much trouble with, the, with those suckers because you can't, you can't break the bead. You, you can't beat them, right? Because uh, they got that little rim that's just such a pain. The smaller they are, the harder there is. Yeah, so anyway, there's a new tire mounted and uh, inflated again this is the black hawk of course 22 fives 295 75 22 fives the uh model of the black hawk is bfl 56. um you know they're they say well, everybody has an opinion everybody's a, a critic but uh honestly it's not necessarily the tire it's how you use the tire a lot of times, where you run, how you run, how many times you run over the curb, uh, you know, gravel roads, uh, you know, those kind of things that make the difference. However, this tire is designed, you know, for semis, for RVs, for larger vehicles. Uh, you know, most tires like the Bridgestone, uh, like this one came off the truck, it will say 
Max speed, 75 miles per hour. You know, you go up in uh, Montana and Oklahoma and uh, Idaho, you know, the speed limit is 80 miles an hour. So, Bridgestone makes good tires, obviously a reputable company. Blackhawk is made by, you know who makes them? I don't I think uh, I remember something about I'm not, I'm not going to say, so I don't want to say it because you guys are going to criticize me on that. But anyway, uh, I do know who it is, but I just don't want to say it. But Blackhawk is a good tire. You know, I've used them on uh, four other trucks that we have. Uh, and so far, I mean, all, all drives only. These are the first steer Blackhawk tires that we're putting together for this truck. But uh, for the drives, you know, they've lasted quite a bit. This, this came in. These tires came in last year, and uh, they still look brand new. I mean, they're wet right now, but, you know, and they had some uh, wear. So they probably got about 50,000 miles on them right now. And, uh, you know, and they're looking pretty good. Uh, I'm hoping these steer tires are going to do the same thing. If you look at a Blackhawk tire, this is the particular one here, the Blackhawk BFL56, 22.5. Uh, again, it's the 295-75R225s. Look at the tire or the, the tread pattern. You've got the grooves in the middle, got grooves in the middle, right? And then they're cut. They have additional cuts here for better and grip, for better grip, right? So these little cuts on the tread give the tire a little bit more grip. If you look at the Michelin, or I'm sorry, the Bridgestone, they don't have, they have these little tiny side cuts. They, they also have, of course, the grooves in the middle. And they have these little uh, zippity doodah edges that give also good grip as well. The older one. This is, this is a little different. This one also has those little uh, zip line or zip cuts in the... Uh, edges but the lines in the middle you know the cuts in the middle are deeper and bigger so that gives better traction than the bridgestone um, a, a newer bridgestone actually this is the same thing is oh yeah this is the old the other tire that's a good tire so bridgestone makes good tires blackhawk is a new company i don't know how long in business they've been but uh you know i'm pretty comfortable with the blackhawk the price I'm not going to say what the price is, but uh, compared to the Bridgestone, these things should do the trick. On uh, that tire being inflated and serviced, uh, I want to show you guys our set of recap tires. Now, fresh rubber or brand new rubber, meaning that they came out of the factory, is way different than recap. And most people know. You can see that right here. There's a little tiny imperfection, and you can see on this good tread, very nice. Looks good, it's Michelin tires, uh, you know, and they're probably comparable to the newer tires about the, you know, maybe a couple hundred bucks, maybe a hundred bucks cheaper. But look, look here. This is where you see the recap pattern. This is basically another layer on top of whatever the old tire was. That, uh, you know, these are all recap tires. The fresh rubber, you know, virgin rubber, they call it, obviously. There's, especially on the steers, there's no recap. These came out of the factory, manufactured, and created this directly the way they are. And for one, you can't recap steer tires uh, legally in any condition. You really can't. But uh, for the drives, I mean, the, yeah, the drives, you, you can, you know, you can, you can recap all day long, I guess. Um, it, but we put new rubber on there as well.
Yeah, for those of you guys that want to know how much a new tire on a semi is, well, the steers are much more expensive than the drives. So the ones in the back compared to the ones in the front that he's mounting. Are tremendously different you know uh, this truck two four six eight in the back two in the front that's ten tires uh, if you figure 400 or 500 bucks a tire five times eight that's four thousand dollars plus two in the front you know so we're like five thousand dollars in tires uh, for just you know, an off-brand like Blackhawk uh, versus Bridgestone. Bridgestones usually sell five, six hundred bucks a piece. Steers are maybe a thousand dollars. So, if you go with the conventional American-made Michelin Bridgestone, all these higher quality tires, you're looking to spend anywhere between, you know, five thousand on up. Uh, maybe four thousand dollars for a whole new set of tires on the truck um, To make it work you can get away with these Blackhawks you can get away with uh, <laughs> the Chinese import uh, But there are some really good tires out there and really good uh, deals that you can find your way across uh, to uh, negotiate a, a deal uh, but if you're running like we are uh, not necessarily 2,500 miles every single week um, you can get away with these other design tires. Generally, you're looking to spend about $4,000 if you're going to get $4,000 and some change if you're going to get off-brand tires. And if you negotiate, like we brought in all these tires back here, um, some, some places, like Point S, buys the old tires from you they uh either resell them if there's you know enough tread or they recap them if they're within the five-year manufacturing date and then they resell them later so they give you anywhere between ten dollars to sixty dollars to a hundred dollars depending on the tire now we didn't really make that much we made a little bit between ten and twenty dollars a tire as a as a trade but we still got to come up with the uh, with the difference. So we're quite a bit into this truck with the tires the way they are. Um, but what are you going to do with these tires after you take them off? Really can't do anything with them. Um, I mean, use them as spares for uh, an older trailer. Generally, with the tread pattern the way they are, the best thing you can do is get them recapped. If you got a lot of these tires, 22.5s for semis, and they're still within five years of the manufacture date, you can get them over to uh, the factory or ship them over or get them recapped at a uh, tire re recapping company and spend about the same, a couple hundred bucks less than buying them here. He's taking the uh, lift away. Tires are inflated on there truck is ready to go just about brand new tires brand new steers good tread on onto uh t8 to get the uh inspection reevaluated, and then we should get a new sticker for 2024 and also be uh road ready to uh go on the road again in the year 2024 it's ready to go we got our old tires back. The one that was uh, kind of, these are the steer tires. But we put the good tire on a rim, on a brand new rim as a spare. So that 
all the way in the bottom it is a good tire it's it came from the steer still got good tread uh more than enough it's on a rim now so it's going to be used as a spare we're going to have to find a way to mount it here to the, the back of the cab this one is just going to be used as a you know a backup tire somewhere for a, a trailer uh, this one does not have a rim so that said truck is ready tires are inflated uh, out of here we're heading out mm -hmm. 